Hey guys, so how bad was MetaZoo as an investment? So, you know, at this point in time, I still don't own a single MetaZoo card. I actually talked to the guy who was supposed to send me, I think like four or five boxes of Hello Kitty, um, or four or five cases of Hello Kitty. And I just said, you know what, I really, you know, I'm good on, I'm good on it. He really tried to pressure sell it. And I didn't really feel comfortable, and especially given the new recent Alpha Investment video. So, a million dollars down the drain. Uh, is it really a million dollars, or is it a million dollars in, is it a million dollars what he paid, or is it a million dollars in what he thought he could get? It makes a big difference, right? If you pay $40, $50 a box, and that box you can sell for $800, right? Well, I mean, that's not too bad. I mean, you just got to sell a bunch of boxes and you will be good here, right? I would imagine that this is going to be the last video. He did mention this will be the last MetaZoo video, but MetaZoo will always be in his heart, right? And I do want to kind of highlight that the money that he lost in MetaZoo a guy who has multiple promo cards of himself, a guy who has multiple playmats. And when, when we mean multiple, we mean like double digit, double digit promos of himself. Some which he's actually created by for himself is, uh, <laughs> is now whining that he's lost money on the game, even though his patrons who own these promos of himself are now out of money. It's uh, really sad to see because uh, the, I, I don't think people really understand until you look at the, his 6.9 video. His patrons are not millionaires, they're not billionaires, they're not wealthy individuals. They're just hardworking employees. They probably make average income. To spend $8,200 on something or even $820 on something is a lot of money. And to have that something go down to, it will never go to zero. And I mean zero. I mean, it's in comparison to what you purchased it, it's really far away. So yes, technically, it won't go down to zero. Technically, somebody somewhere may be interested in buying it. So back to where I am on this, I, I would suggest that people don't look for him for investment advice because it is definitely the fact that he has promos and play mats and, and uh, the guy was at his home giving him $100,000 of Kickstarter and uh, some type of like pack that was even more valuable than Kickstarter, like a creator pack or something like that. Um, the fact that Pay Money Wubby had his wife be the head of the art direction for MetaZoo. I, I mean, there was a lot of things where you're you're starting to think that like oh these people are promoting the product not because they believe it will be successful or because they enjoy the product but because you know hey they want to make a lot of money from it or they're being paid on the side like in in china this would be called a bribe right like we always as americans think oh chinese is a country where that you know in other cultures right this would absolutely be called a bribe um, or a gift, right? A, a, a gift of around above a certain amount in some countries is a bribe. So you have influencers, and, and that's probably where like you you should see the first red flag. If somebody's promoting a game and they are on, they literally are the face of the game, or their wife is literally the art director of the game. You gotta be like, hmm. Are they promoting the game because it's a real investment? Or are they promoting the game because they want to make money? Are they somehow tied in them? And there's nothing wrong with that, right? Like Mike Waddell promoting Mike Waddell's game does not, I mean, it's to be expected, right? But when it's being sold to you as an investment opportunity, even though the Alpha Investments now believes that it was not investable, and he never mentioned that, totally, totally not uh, his fault. Um, I would, I would even mirror here and say like, with the price point of $820 a box, like, how is it like, what are you selling them? 
they're, they're going to they're going to open their Nightfall box and have fun at eight hundred twenty dollars. They can't go to like Disney. They can't go to like a nice trip. They can't book. You can book a plane t- ticket for the entire family at that cost. Depends where you go. You got probably take Southwest, right? Where I am. You you have to realize that the, the money that people put in Meta Zoo, it's all gone. Like people, he's talking about. Oh, it's more liquid. He, he once still is trying to pump the game, which is really disgusting in my opinion. Right? Oh, there's more liquidity than ever before. That's because the prices are lower than ever before. If Hello Kitty's three hundred dollars for a two pack. It's going to sell, there's going to be a lot less liquidity at that price point than when they half the price at 150 and they half the price at 50. And then, you know, it's so cheap. Like, what, what do you want me to do? Like, if I can get a box that used to be $820 for less than $20, well, I mean, yes, there is liquidity in that. <laughs> there is liquidity in dead card games. As much as people won't mention it. I am going to contact. I am going to contact the Shenzhen Chinese distributor who's printing the cards. Um, I've decided. Um, maybe like, I don't know. I, I decided to put in some money behind this. Um, and I am going to buy because I'm just going to tell them, hey, I want these cards printed. There's no IP protection or anything. Like, I'm sure they don't have a contract with this distributor or this uh, printing company that says they cannot print more. Um, and I'm going to just like, have the best collection ever. Like, if I could do this with Meta Extra in Yasa 100% of the time, man, I would do it. The fact that you have a printer and you just drop, you say, hey, man, I'm going to give you 25000 This is what I want. I want one... I want 10,000 Mothman crip, uh, Kickstarter promos, or whatever they're called, the first edition, the most expensive Mothman. Then I send them a PSA. It's from the same printer, so PSA won't know the difference. And then I'm, I get like a bunch of them. How cool would that be? Just have a stack of 10,000 Mothmans, PSA 10, <laughs> straight from the print shop, and just kind of knock it all down, right? Just set it all on fire. I think it would be great. Uh, I know some people in MetaZoo, they still love MetaZoo. They still think it's great. Um, there's less of you, and you're certainly less vocal. And uh, the leading individual, Alpha Investment, is definitely tapped out right now of MetaZoo. I, I cannot see him promoting the game anymore. But he might. I mean, he might. I, I, and like people said, if you're going to take a $1 million loss, you might as well buy the game for a $1 million and see what you can do with it. He won't. But... If he was a true fan, he would. 